Hey guys, it's Leo Stargazer. I'm here today with our science-specific weekly astrological tarot readings. This is for the week of September 17th through September 23rd, and this reading is for Aquarius. So this week, I see one major event happening, and it's the one that I'll be focusing on for our reading today, and that is that the sun moves from Virgo into Libra, and we enter Libra season, and we get the autumn equinox. So from here on out, and especially in honor of this moment, we are going to be able to reap the rewards of everything we sowed in Virgo, of everything every everything we planted, everything we grew, everything we learned, everything we earned. All of that is going to come to fruition, and we're going to be able to use it starting this week. And I'm so, so excited. What's gonna, what this is really gonna help us with is to maintain balance through this season, all about balance. And so I wanted the spread to be directly related to that. So I chose a three card spread in honor of Libra season. And the first card in the spread is inner. So your inner world, who you are inside, where you're at right now. Outer, what's outside of you, outside of your control, what are others dealing with? And then balance, right in the middle, to help us understand how to balance inner and outer. So, as I begin my shuffle, I'm going to be repeating the intention that I set for us this week. And that intention is balance. I chose balance for obvious reasons, um, all of the reasons I just stated, but especially in honor of Libra um, and the equinox. And in honor of this moment where we... Um, where I want us to turn to the tarot to figure out how we can stay balanced. We need to start switching gears to heading in that direction. And really, if we can do that right as the season starts, we'll, we'll be good to go. So let's hope this helps us. I'm sure it will. Um, okay, inner, you. The card that I draw is the queen of wands reversed. Okay. Outer or others. The three of wands reversed. Balance. The Libra of it all. page of cups reversed okay three reversals um but it all makes sense so let's start with inner in an inner we have the queen of wands reversed so this is representing you right now with the queen of wands reversed in inner in the position of inner i'm definitely seeing that something in some way that you have had to step out of your comfort zone, some way that you have had to potentially sacrifice a part of yourself um, during Virgo season, I, I think that was challenging for you. And I think that the, I think that it might have made you a little bit jaded. And I think going into a new season, you're kind of still holding on to that space. You aren't in your full passion and control. You're in kind of this place where you're kind of like, did I give up too much of myself for Virgo? <laughs> did I give much, too much of myself to Mercury retrograde? Did it take too much from me? Um, it, the good thing about this is it doesn't seem that it's going to hinder the way you do business. Um, you still are who you are, but you might have had to give up some part of yourself and it is an inner, so maybe it was just something inside of you you knew you had to put on pause while you went through these seasons. Because in outer, I have the three of wands reversed. So for others, or for people around you, um, or just the outside world in general, the three of wands reversed shows me that things haven't gone super, super great for them either. Um, it shows me that plans that were set in motion may be hit some obstacles um 
nothing would make more sense to me since we had Mercury retrograding through Virgo. That was probably an obstacle for everyone. So I think plans had to change. Things didn't happen the way people wanted them to. Maybe that's part of what made you jaded. It shows me here that you're kind of on the same path with everyone else, but you're special. You're in your own way. You're in your own power. Even if some part of you was sacrificed during the season, you're still there. Other people are also struggling with that though. And they don't have the um, identity power that you have. But, so how do we balance that? How do we balance this idea that we're both going through these things you and someone else, you and your groups, you and the world are going through the similar things, but you have this power. What is the balance? Well, the balance for you is the Page of Cups reversed. I think the Page of Cups reversed showing up in balance is showing me for you that you need to find that part of you you let go. Re-embrace it. Reattach to it reunite with it once you do that and once you feel whole you need to dive deep into your imagination you need to find something fun something exciting something new and fresh something that you can light yourself up with this week in particular in order for you to maintain balance, for you and others, your inner and outer, in order for you to maintain balance, you need to find something beautiful, exciting, and fun. But you have to find that. Find it before we start Libra season, and you are going to be good to go. You're going to be totally in balance. You're going to be able to help others stay in balance. You're going to um, be reunited with parts of yourself you've lost. You have to have fun and the place to start according to the page of cups is in your imagination fantasize this week fantasize about what libra season can be for you fantasize about what inspires you go there and maybe bring some people along with you share fantasies i think that's the lesson this week that's how you're going to find balance and that's what Libra wants you to know. I'll see you next week.